is Crafty Chris and welcome to my channel. Today I will be using, or today I will be doing the 20th um, journal entry in my Sunny Days collection. And I had this on my desk because I was going to put it on a tag or something and I saw it and I just love the red in it. And then after seeing that, I realized I can finally use my tag. I'm going to use it today. This is the little baggie that it fits in. And um, I'm going to utilize the music page that came with my kit too. Alright, so I had a really great day today. I ended up staying in here almost all day today. I did not get any wall boards up, but that'll... Um, we decided we're gonna do that tomorrow so excited and I can't wait um, to do some crafting and to work in my journal today Okay, so I'm going to work on the background. So I hope you guys had a really nice Saturday and I hope you're enjoying your weekend. You'll be seeing this on Sunday. We actually had a um, tax-free weekend. Um, it's in Alabama, we have tax-free weekend. So, um, for back to school shopping. And, um, no, I did not go shopping today. <laughs> But my daughter went and she said, I mean, the mall was crazy, like worse than Christmas. So yeah, I stayed, I was glad to stay home today. <laughs> yeah. Well, I understand people want to save money all they can. So I understand, you know, the appeal, but yeah, I, I just don't, I don't do well with crowds. And yeah, I'm not a mall person either. But when I do go, I mean, I do appreciate it when I'm there, but yeah. Most of the time, yeah, I'm, you'll find me at thrift stores. <laughs> thrift store, Dollar Tree, Tuesday morning, Hobby Lobby. Those are my go-to places. In Walmart when I have to. <laughs> I just love how just putting a piece of music paper on the on the spread just makes it so pretty. Now, do I want to put it here or in the middle? I think I kind of like it in the middle. I think that's enough. I think that's enough journaling room for me. But I might want to leave this open just in case. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'll make a pocket. It that doesn't mean I have to use it, but it'll be there in case I do need it. Cuz I you know, a lot of times I will make I will work on this at in the evening time and then I journal the next morning and sometimes I might you know add stuff or take away stuff you know just depends I 
actually on this one I add I found a um, ice cream cone I knew I had something but I I did I forgot about um, something that I picked up at Tuesday morning and it, it was a little um, journal kit or not journal kit scrapbooking kit and um, yeah so when I was going through my papers today I found that so I was really happy all right so let's see how that fits that fits really nicely it's gonna take a little while for the card I mean the 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 glassing envelope to cure okay I like that so I want to put this on here and I just like I kind of like the simplicity of this I don't think I'm gonna add anything to the background I like how the um, see how the red shows from the entry from yesterday and it brings out all the red and the, the blue lines are brought out by this card so I kind of like just the way it is and I'm going to go ahead and and just trim this down a little I don't really have to because the background is white but a lot of times when I I fussy cut the well I don't really fussy cut right away but I I cut these out as close as I can to the flower and then I I leave the actual fussy cutting to you know when I um, you know when I'm journaling because I'm not really sure exactly um, what I um, I'm going to use it for so since this is a white background I don't have to do a lot of fussy coating so I'll just do a little basic so I have some plans I um, I probably will go to Dollar Tree I think I'm gonna do that on Monday after I drop uh, my daughter off at dance they have like this they have a intensive which lasts a week and um, so when I drop her off for that I think I'm gonna run to the dollar the other Dollar Tree not mine and it's close to where their studio is I'm gonna pop in there and I'm gonna grab my five items for the five dollar um, journal challenge and I think I'm going to go ahead and do a series on it. I don't know all the details about it. I guess I need to um, find out. I think it's, I don't know. I heard about it from, well, let's see, who did I learn it from? I'm not sure. I've just seen several you know, people that I'm subscribed to doing it, so. Um, when I find out I'll let you know all the details but yeah I think that's something I I'm really interested in doing and I really want to make a journal it's been a while you know I, I did the baby journal and I really want to start making some journals again I kind of took a break you know doing this all month which I absolutely love doing this and um, but yeah, I think it's time to start doing some journals. And I will be doing, um, next month, um, I won't be doing daily journals like this every day, but I will be doing a series or two, and I will let you, more, let you know more about it as soon as I figure out, you know, what I want to do. Okay, I like that. I think that is that's pretty good right there so um, I just can't believe that next week is going to be the end of the month and or 
not next week, but the week after. Um, yeah, because it's still the 20th, so. Um, so this whole process has been a lot of fun, and I've learned a lot. I'm actually learning um, a little bit more about the process, you know, like how long it takes to edit a video, and um, yeah, it, it's, this has been a good process, and it really has pushed me to just do this every day, and it's a good thing, it's a positive thing, I think, and I've really enjoyed it, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it too, and maybe later, you know, later this, this year, I may do, do um, another, um, you know, 30 day challenge. I just have to really figure out what the schedule is going to be like once the girls start school. And they also are starting a, um, a homeschool co-op co and um, they're taking so my girls are 8th grade and ninth grade, going into 8th grade and ninth grade, and we have to figure out, you know, kind of like the, pro the schedule and stuff, you know. This is all new to us. We've never done this type of co-op before. It's where you pay the teachers, and they teach, you know, I drop... Um, they have classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and then they, um, so, you know, they get their assignments and stuff, and, um, they use this, um, online, they submit their homework online, and then they get their grades and everything online, too, which is really great, and it takes a lot of pressure off of me, especially with, um, my middle child because she's you know in high school and we have to like um, keep up with her grades and everything now which is new but I'm also gonna be I'm starting my eighth grader too on with her grades she's actually taking some high school classes so she will actually get credit for those too I think I might want to add something up here let's see that one's a little big I kind of like the blue let me see what it looks like I think I'm gonna do that and just cut the, the ends oh that's so pretty um so yeah, I'm really excited about them doing the co-op, and, and that was another reason I had to do the budget, because that was another added expense, you know, we haven't had. And I think they earn every penny that they ask for. <laughs> Because I've done, when my um, girls were younger, when all three were younger, we did a, um, I think that's a little too busy. We did a co-op at our church, and we, which was really good, but like the moms, like I would have to teach classes, which was fine. That's just too busy. I just feel like I need something there. Let me see what I have in my stickers. I found this in my stash. Don't want to fly in. Oh, that 
that's so cute. Maybe a sticker. Yes, I like that. I don't want, I think it's competing with that one up there. So I'm gonna put it down here. Wow, this page came together really quick. That is so cool. All right, so I need to do my date stickers. Well, I found this piece right here, and I think I'm gonna put it right there. And all I have to do is just move the sticker over. That's one thing about I like about the glassine bags. But yeah, when, like I was saying earlier, the girls, when they were younger, we had a co-op at our church, and we had to, the if your children were in the co-op, then you had to teach a class or two, and it ended up being so much more work that I was spending a lot of time, like, teaching you know, preparing for co-op and not, you know, teaching my own children. So, so we ended up quitting that co-op. You know, we did it for two years and it was a really good experience. And, but I, I just really missed being home and, and teaching them and, you know, and, being in charge of all their classes. But now that they're in high school, it's like, okay, now it's time for someone else to teach them. <laughs> but I will still, um, I still will be doing their, some of their classes, um, but not all of them. So it's gonna help me. And then they're going to be gone Tuesday and on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so I will actually have like alone time. <laughs> That's the only drawback about homeschooling is that you know you have your children 24 hours a day every single day, and I absolutely love it, but there are times that I just need a break and I really of course now that they're teenagers I miss them because they're always like going off and hanging out with friends and doing stuff but it's nice to have just a break and I'll get to either I'm not sure what I'm going to do I may just come home and craft <laughs> But yeah, so yeah, it's it's exciting and just new changes and stuff and all right, well I am done with the page. I'm really love how this turned out. It's simple and I love the coloring and I don't think I've ever done this much red, wine, blue. <laughs> ever but I like it because it's it's a change and I'm really appreciating you know these colors now I love it I, it, it was not my go-to color before and yeah I just love it I've been wanting to use this poppy forever too and actually this too I've had these a while so yeah this is my journal page for today Hope you guys have a wonderfully blessed day and until next time.